Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag ASP.NET CSR tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to send email from ASP.NET CSR Berkeley application using smtp.gmail.com. So let me configure. There is a two steps I am going to follow. First, configure the app password in the my account in Google, and second is using app password in my application. So let me open the Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio. I am going to just create one website application and giving the name for the application in left panel just i'm going through the visual csr and i'm selecting the empty website i'm giving the name for the website mail list click on ok Now let me create one page. I'm, giving, I'm taking the web form and uh, that is the default page. I'm placing the code in the separate file. I'm creating .cs page with that and click on add. So this page is created. I'm giving the name for that. Give the name, and I'm taking one text box. In which uh, uh, text box I will use to the email address, and I will send the email to that particular email address. So let me take H contact text. Okay. So this is a text box I'm taking. I'm giving the <coughs> ID is equal to email. Uh, enter email address for send a mail mail to this particular email address. Now a submit button so i'll create a button and let me create one click on create a new event so button is also created let me run this page so you can run from here also right click and view in browser also both the way you can run and in right side view solution explorer right click and you can run that so this is the test email page and there is a email address for the send a email address to that particular address and there is a submit button if i'll submit then it should send a email address to that Okay, so let me open that. So, <coughs> so let me configure the dot CS page. So here I'm going to use using So to library I'm going to use in on click function. I'm going to use I'm writing the code for the sending a mail. Mail message.
Let me finish it, then we'll come back. I'm writing here SMTP. So SMTP client, I'm taking the SMTP client, then I have to define the SMTP port number. SMTP dot port is equal to then SMTP dot enable SSL equal to some. I'll write that SMTP dot default credentials. Then finally, and so these are the things I need. So mail dot two dot address. Here I'll write down the this email address whatever the user will insert to the send send a mail so that mail address i will send to the user, particular user so email dot text string stream. so i am going to read the uh, email address whatever they are inserting the if there is unwanted space will be there then automatically it will be, it will be clear so mail dot from a new address mail address so i am going to use here gmail com i am sending with the i am using my mail address next is subject So mail body I'm going to write okay. like that also we can write so PR then each body HTML so we can write here true I'm using the VI tag another paragraph tag I can use so use like this so, or I can use for the multiple lines uh, mail message so in, in my other videos I will show you how to create a so, good mail so this is true the next is a 
SMTP, SMTP, new SMTP client. Okay. Now port number I will will allow for me I twenty seven and other ports are twenty five sometime or port sixty five. These two ports are also available. So port sixty five nowadays not uh, using by people and SMTP enable SSL. I am going for that. There is the other options. <coughs> Use uh, default credentials, calls, and SMTP host. I am going to use smtp.gmail.com and host. As per your requirement, you can change the host and other port number. Another thing now, network credentials. I am going to use. So here I will pass the email address and uh, next it I will pass the password. Then I am going to send a mail. So it will the subject will be hello, text, email, and mail body will be the this one. Okay. Let me check. So before doing that, I have to get the app password. Here app password will be there. So I am going to create the app password. For creating the app password, just open your Google account. Just log in with your Google account. Go to the account and go to manage your Google account. Okay. So when you will go to your manage account in left side panel, there is a security is there. So on that, there is a one option is there two step verification. So after two step verification there is a app password will be generated an uh, option will be uh, given after the one will just create the two step verification so click on two step verification go to the guest get started okay let me get the password So there is the options to continue. So you will get a for the two step verification, you will get a message, and on message, you have a code and insert the code for the accessing the two step verification this is my uh, app code go to the next there is option turn on so I am going to turn on that so now go back to security so there is a security now come come there there is one option is created now app password so this is a new for the google and uh, previously we are using for the less secure apps so they removed the less secure apps and now they created for the app password so app password is there go to the next again you it will ask you the password just insert, insert that and there is some uh, specific app regions you can create the password for that if you are creating it's okay if you are not using any of these so go to the others give the text mail or give any of the name and there is options to generate the password so click on the generate so there this is your app password so just put that password and go to your application write down the password so this is my password with the without space you just keep it that click on done so my password is created so this is the time when i created and last use this is not showing the last use so 
again save all the pages and just refresh the page now i am going to test i'm going to send a mail to this particular mail address click on button this is going to be refreshed and page is refreshed let me check with the page let me open with the google gmail I got a mail so this is from there is an option from to this and there is a hello user how are you and this is a hello test email so so here we confirm so this is my page here what we did we created a mail message and we added an email address where we send the mail and that is for the dynamic so i'm just creating one text box then i'm taking the email address and where there is mail message i'm passing the same email address from here and uh, next on the subject i'm writing the hello test user and this is the body part so there is a see, this uh, this is my subject and this in my body hello i'm writing uh, hello user how are you same thing I'm doing here in SMTP. SMTP I'm, I'm using the 587. SSL is true. Use different uh, default credentials is false. SMTP hostname I'm using the SMTP.gmail.com and this is my credential. This is my app password. Just now we created from the Google and last we are sending the mail. So this is the code for the sending of the mail. It's so quite easy. Oh, that may difficult. So thank you for watching, hope this will help.